from flight attendant to author, this local woman can do it all. Today we have Sharon Williams, a local author, discussing her latest book, Life at 36,000 Feet, Where Fear and Faith Connect. Sharon, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So you were flight attendant for years. What made you decide to yeah. write a book? Um, I flew for 34 years and I really enjoyed it. It was a lifestyle. It wasn't just a job. And um, back in 2018, after 34 years of flying, I had an accident. I fell and I broke my femur. Wow. And it was a very... Uh, life-changing event mm -hmm. in my life. So I sat around for months trying to heal and doing rehab and uh, therapy. And I ended up um, feeling sorry for myself. They can, mm -hmm. and I will sit here and I, I was already told I didn't know if I could walk um, the way I used to. And I decided to get all those journals I had been collecting through the years about my years of flying and funny stories, inspirational stories that I had written down and compiled it into a book. Wow. I started writing and it was a mental therapy for me and I enjoyed it. I've always loved to write, but wow. it just really gave me a purpose and it um, took about two years to, to write. Yeah. So talk to me, what is the book about? Life at 36,000 feet. Well, it starts out with my... Um, uh, you know, when I was hired at the airport and then it, it ended up being um, going into the years of, of flying. Mm -hmm. I was hired by Piedmont and then that, of course, merged, merged to U.S. Airways and American. So I was with the same airline, but um, it was about my experiences with passengers and also um, a thread of my faith mm -hmm. uh, showed throughout the whole book. Yeah. Um, I was able to have faith in, in bad situations because when I talk to people, they'll say, did you ever have any scary situations happen? And I did. Right. I had several incidents. Um, not too many. And then also encounters with um, with unruly passengers. And I know that's a really pr a big problem right now. I heard on the news this morning it had gotten worse. But um, just how to handle the public and funny stories, um, it's, it'll make you laugh. I've even had people that have read it say they laughed out loud when they read it. So it was just a conglomeration of, of my stories. And there's, there's 31 chapters. Wow. And it's not a long book, but it's a, a, a very good read, I think. Well, Sharon, thank you so much for joining us today and just giving us some background on this book. Um, and if you would like a signed copy of Sharon's book, she will be at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport this Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And she's going to sell both paperback and hardcover copies of the book. And her book is also available at Target, Barnes & Noble, and Amazon. And we will have the event info and ways to purchase her book on our website. Just log on to WSLS.com. Sharon, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay.